This is to G1981C. I went and read the Techno Art, Techno Anarchy article at uh, DIY-AV.net. So for everybody else, the idea is basically that if you had a Big Brother type database, uh, that then would be bad if the government used it. But what if we just all had access to each other's databases? Then um, well, we wouldn't even need laws because you would know if somebody, you know, was evicted from their last apartment when you're wondering if if uh, they should rent your apartment. Well, one, um, I don't know that somebody shouldn't have a chance to rent an apartment again just because they have one problem. But here's the idea: you say, they say it wouldn't, it w we wouldn't even need laws anymore. Um, for example, if somebody broke into your house, you'd simply shoot the fucker in the face. Your wiki would then say that you shot in the face the fucker who broke into your house. That's it. It would be up to the people who do business with you then to decide whether they feel it was morally reprehensible on your part or not, or whether they want to do business with you or not. This is so naive. Um, yeah. So, yeah, like, let's say you had a wealthy person who knew that people needed him more than he needed them. Uh, yeah, he might not get away shooting, you know, everybody's favorite grandma, but he could probably shoot the hobo. And he could say the hobo attacked him. And then what goes in the wiki? Who puts it in the wiki? You know, and you talk about that there has to be this document listing theorems and axioms of what's desirable and not desirable. That's where you've shuffled all the same old confusion. That book can't be written. One thing that is extremely naive, and it's funny because this can, you know, this is very shoot the fucker in the face, and I'm a cynic, but it's very naive and, and, and optimistic about this the power of reputation. This is just unworldly, G. It's unworldly. You, you, you act like you don't realize that there's big thugs, big physically, big because of their resources, or even just reputation. Disproportionate people that like to dominate other people, and they're fine with the reputation is don't fuck with him, he'll dominate you. Do what he says or he'll dominate you. And that's their, rep you know, that's their reputation. That wiki says, kick the ass of the last motherfucker that didn't give him his ice cream. Here's my ice cream. And it still requires all the same, you know, it still requires police and stuff to, to investigate. Oh no, who's going to put that in the wiki? To the guy that did the shooting? His family? It is naive. Now, the main thing I see with it is that we're nowhere near being able to have such a database. People don't think clearly enough to use such a database. Someone like me, I think I probably could use that database. It'd be like, they were evicted, and I'd say, hey, well, why were you evicted? Explain, and I, I would give them a second chance or not based on that. But a lot of people wouldn't even consider that. They'd be going, well, I might as well just go for the people with the spotless record, which is none of us except for those that were lucky enough not to have our stuff put in the wiki in our own database that's why you know you think I, I've been through all of this railing at society and I realized you can go on and on about governments kill people yeah the people both elected and or supported and or didn't revolt against and or went off to war for and yeah you could bring this back to people people need to structure their own minds better until people figure out a better epistemology for figuring stuff out about the world and what to do with what they think and, and think they know. You know, there's not going to be a solution. There is no system that's going to be a good system with, you know, junky people in it. We need to improve the quality of engineering and our ways of thinking. Our epistemology is broken. This whole thing of, of having a social system uh, based directly and only on reputation is just, it's non-material to me. I, I don't judge based on my reputation, I judge on results. Um, 
you know, I'm honest because the results of honesty are learning more reality. Honest facts, real facts. It, it helps reputation. That's not why I'm honest, and I don't believe anybody that I've ever met that was truly honest was honest for reputation. That's the fake honesty people do that stuff for reputation. So thinking even uh, of reputation in this way it shows you're already trapped in the current social uh, framework of, of your role in reality and with, in relation to other people. And then you want to create a system to get out of that system, but your system you made is a subset. It's locked inside. It can't escape. But it sounds like the opposite of what I'm dealing with. Well, no, it sounds like it's dependent on, on what you're complaining about. And so you have a little catch-22 there. You have to get out of that whole system and figure out a different kind of epistemology and reasoning for why we do things the way we do. Why, why we make it illegal to kill somebody even if nobody's going to vouch for the victim or, or want to risk their own life to stand up for the victim. So, 